Hello everyone and welcome to our Little Sprout story time here at Clark County Public Library. This is our story time for preschool aged about three to five years old and I'm your host Miss Alyssa so thank you for joining me again. So our story time day is going to be a real blast because we're going to be talking about some sound which of course you probably have heard all about. Heard? Get it? Um, because it is what we hear. This can be music, it can be talking, it can just be miscellaneous whatever's going on. Um, and our stories today are being read with permission of HarperCollins and Disney Harperian and Ryan Hagen. So let's get going. Our first story is called Lost and Found, What's That Sound? Written by Jonathan Ying and illustrations by Victoria Ying and published by HarperCollins. Hmm, I wonder what sort of sounds we're gonna hear. Lost and Found, What's That Sound? By Jonathan Ying. Welcome to the Lost and Found, where we find items by their sound. Ooh. The thing I lost goes toot, toot, toot. I spent all day in hot pursuit. Hmm. What makes a toot sound? thing I lost goes ding, ding, ding. Have you heard of such a thing? Hmm. What makes a ding noise? Ding, ding, ding. <gasps> My triangle. You found it there. Thank you kindly, Mr. Hare. The thing I lost goes blink, blink, blink. I play with my big lawn trunk. Blink, blink, blink. Hmm, which do you think it is? Oh, my piano, may I have it please? I need some time to tune the keys. The thing I lost goes boom, boom, boom. Have you seen it in this room? Hmm, what could that be? Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> My drum, I see you found it, wow. Just hang on guys, I'm ready now. At last I found the lost and found. The things I lost make many sounds, like choo choo, ding, and blink, boom, boom. I really need to find them soon. Hmm. I hear the things you're looking for. The sounds are coming from next door. What do you think Mr. Bat's looking for? <gasps> it's his band. You found my things. They sound so grand. One, two, three. Let's hit it, band. Choo, ding, plunk, boom. The end. Instruments can make a ton of sounds, can't they? But sometimes when you're making noise or you hear noise, you actually need to be quieter. Like in our story, be Quiet by Ryan T. Higgins, published by Disney Hyperion. Be quiet. Do you think he's talking to us? I don't think so. 
We never say anything. Hmm, I wonder if that's true. Finally, I get my very own book to star in. This is going to be great. I'm going to make it a wordless book. They are very artistic. This book will have no words at all. Starting now. Rupert the Mouse presents Be Quiet by Ryan T. Higgins. <laughs> okay, starting now. Hi, Rupert, what are, shh, be quiet. This book does not have words. Wowee, a wordless book. Can I help? <gasps> Oops, I'm talking, Yeep. I'm talking about talking. Stop, the book already started, you're messing it up. Please let me stay in the book. I promise to be quiet. I'll be extra wordless, please. I said be quiet. This book is wordless. Hey guys, what's with all the shouting? Hi Thistle, we're making a wordless book, but I promised to be quiet, so I can't tell you about it. Oh, a wordless book, I love those. They're very artistic. Can I be in it? Yes, but we won't tell Rupert since we're not supposed to be talking. I told you to be quiet. You're putting too many words in the book. Yay, this book is going to be so fun. <gasps> quiet, you. This book will be more than fun. It'll be visually stimulating. What does visually stridulating mean? It means we're going to poke our readers in the eyeballs with pictures. That's not what it means. It means we need to have strong illustrations. Like this, oh, look, we're helping. No, you're not. Be quiet. This is a word, book is wordless. Rupert is right, Nibs. What this book needs is some strong but silent types. Hmm, strong but silent. What about him? He's strong, he's silent. Every book needs a bear in it. I don't know, he looks grumpy. What about something cuter? Who is that? What about kitten? Kittens are super cute and friendly. Oh, look at its cute little nose and whiskers. And its beautiful big eyes and shiny teeth. <gasps> Nips, I think it's getting a little too friendly, quick. Think of something vegetarian. A cucumber. We'll just draw a smile on it and add some googly eyes. Is that what vegetarian means? And there, a vegetarian. Nibs, what exactly do you think a vegetarian is? Stop filling my brilliant piece of wordless literature with nonsense. And stop talking. You're not taking this seriously. Is this more serious? Where are you supposed to be? A president? No, I'm Vincent Von Mouse. Arr. I don't think everyone will get that. Can you try something a little simpler? We're simple. We're potatoes. Stop talking and stop changing the pictures around. I don't even like potatoes. Rupert is right. No more artistic stuff. Wordless books need action. We should have a silent superhero instead. We'll call him Captain Quiet and he can fight words. Captain Quiet Vocabulary Vigilante. Pow, kaboom, blam. No, 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 no. No superheroes and no onomatopoeia either. I think Rupert just said, I'm a gonna pia. What do you think that means? I think it means he should have gone to the bathroom before the book started. Oh, what about mimes? Mimes are extra quiet. Guess what? I'm miming. Let's see. Is it cheese sandwich that thinks it's a hummingbird with a lettuce sweater? Don't you know what be quiet means? It means don't make a sound. Right. 
It's like that saying about a tree falling in the woods. How's it go? Nibs, can you help? I'm on it. Uh-oh. It goes something like, if a tree falls on someone who isn't listening in the woods. No, that's not right. Timber! Ah! Did the tree make sound? It was hard to tell with all Rupert shouting. Should we try again? Are they doing that saying right? Enough! I have had it. All you two do is talk, talk, talk. I can't stand it. Can't you be quiet for just one page? I try to do one thing, make a wordless book, and you two have to go and rule. You have to fill this book with her. No one's going to want to read a wordless book that's filled with words. Why can't you do one simple thing that, like, not say anything? Isn't that hard? I am quiet. I'm not saying anything. But no, you two just keep on talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Psst. What? Oh, my God. turned out okay. I do hope we get another one soon. Man. So everyone's pretty much making some noise in that one. Um, but there are a few other ways that you can make noise. Um, for songs today, I have brought out the song cube. Ah. Um, I'll roll this and then um, we'll do a few songs based off it. All of them are ones that you should be familiar with. All right, so let's see. Whee! Ah! The spider song. All right, can you do Itsy Bitsy Spider with me? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider up. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. All right, let's do another one. The star song. Let's do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, let's do one more. <gasps> teapot. All right. Let's do I'm a little teapot. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Thank you so much for doing those with me. All right, and for our craft today, your, your grown-ups are gonna love me. Um, you can make your own shaker at home. Um, I made this um, using a toilet paper um, roll. Yes, that's it. The empty one, don't use a full one. Um, basically, I, uh, took one of those, um, I put some construction paper all over to decorate. You can also use markers or whatever you want. Then you staple, um, or you can tape one end, and then you fill it eh, about a third of the way um, with something that'll make a sound. This one, uh, I have dried beans in there. You can also use rice, um, whichever you and your grown up have her sitting around. And then I stapled the other end. I also put some tape just to make sure nothing escaped. And then I can party for days with my own shaker. Um, and that's all I have for you this week. Um, I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.